Welcome to Always Dolls and thanks for joining us. We asked in our community poll if you'd like to see a DIY for American Girl's new room for two trundle bed and many of you said yes. So today we share with you how to make the beautiful canopy bed with trendy two-sided bedding and of course the trundle. With this DIY you can take your doll sleepovers to the next level. Hit the like button if you enjoy this video and subscribe to support our channel. So let's get making! For the bed we use thick 10mm foam board and square balsa wood strips. Cut rectangles of foam board for the bed's base, back wall and side walls. To mimic AG's sloping side wall design, we made a template on paperboard. Begin at the taller 24cm high edge, measure in 2cm, then free draw a curve that stops 6cm from the shorter 15cm edge. Draw a straight line to connect. Trace the template on your foam board pieces and cut away the excess for perfectly matching side walls. Next, mark a border inside your template that is 2cm from the bottom edge and 1cm from the right, left and top edges. Cut away the border to get the shape of your outer wall panels. Trace and cut a second. Notice how it is a mirror copy so that we can use the blank side of the paperboard. Next, trace and cut the inside wall panels. These are shorter, with the lower 9cm cut off. It's time to paint our panels. We chose Reeves Lavender Acrylic. Then glued both outer and inner panels to our foam board side walls with liquid glue. This allowed us time and wiggle room to make sure we had a 1cm white border at the top, left and right sides of the panel. Moving on to the back wall. Measure and mark smaller 9 by 4 cm rectangles at both the left and right top corners. Use your template to trace a section of the sloping edge onto the back wall. Cut along your line, then repeat at the other corner. Trace your back wall onto white poster board or paperboard and reduce all sides by 1 cm. Paint this piece lavender, then adhere to the panel. For extra detail, we used white gel pen to draw the AG Star logo and text. Now all our pieces are ready, let's assemble the bed. Apply liquid or hot glue below the lavender panel on the inside of your side wall to attach the base piece. Repeat with the other side wall. Cover the exposed edges of foam core with liquid glue and adhere the back wall. It helps to use low tack tape to hold everything in place while the glue dries. Since AG dolls are heavy, we cut more foam board rectangles for support legs, gluing them underneath the base to strengthen the foam core side walls. Now to make the canopy. For this we are using square balsa wood sticks that are just under 1cm wide. First, we need to paint all the sticks white. For our frame, Cut two long pieces and two short pieces. Place your shorter pieces inside the longer ones, adhering at the corners with wood glue. We also cut a piece of wooden dowel, painted it gold, then glued it vertically in the centre of the frame. Next, we need to cut our balsa stick into two short posts and two long posts. Apply wood glue to the base and attach the shorter posts to the back right and left corners of the bed. Glue your longer posts to the front edges of your side walls. Once in place, you can attach the top frame. Again, it helps to use low tack tape to hold the posts still while the glue dries. For extra support, we will make caps from scraps of poster board painted gold. Cut a 1.5cm wide strip and pre-bend it around a scrap of square dowel. Glue a strip around each corner where the posts meet the bed. For the top frame, start with a 5cm square of poster board and draw a plus sign as seen on screen. Cut away the four corners and pre-bend the flaps. Glue the paper to the top frame and the corresponding post legs. Wrap more strips of poster board around each dowel to strengthen the connection. Repeat at the other three corners of the canopy frame. It should look something like this. Let's switch to the trundle. First, cut the base, front and back walls, and two side walls. 
Using liquid or hot glue, attach the base behind the front wall and repeat with the back wall. Next, slip the side walls into place. To match AG's aesthetic, paint two rectangles of paperboard lavender. Ours are slightly too small, so we recommend you cut yours 20 by 6 centimetres. For handles, we cut, stacked and glued four ovals of paperboard, then hot glued a bead to each end. Paint gold before attaching to the centre of each panel. We have an AG mattress from Molly's Yellow Bed that fits perfectly. If you'd like to see how to make your own, click the card top right. Over the canopy, we draped a white and gold chiffon scarf, then tucked the excess fabric behind the bed. For the abstract floral duvet, we painted a white pillowcase. First, slip a sheet of baking paper or plastic packaging between the layers of fabric to stop the paint bleeding through. Using a mix of acrylic and fabric paints, create a palette of purple, blue and pinks. Paint the larger shapes first, then add the leaves and flowers. This design really pops once you add the black dots and swirls. Leave overnight to dry completely. Then we can paint the reverse side. Here we have a homemade circle stamp made from fun foam and a puffy paint cap. Simply press the stamp into black paint and press onto the fabric. Some dots are doubled up for a larger blurry effect similar to the AG version. When the paint is dry, cut your pillowcase slightly larger than the AG mattress. This will give you seam allowance. Turn so the good sides are facing in before sewing up the sides. On one short side, leave a gap in the centre so you can turn the bedspread out again. Tuck in the raw edges, then sew the gap closed. With the bedspread finished, we use the same technique to make matching pillows. We also remove the hardware from this fluffy heart-shaped keyring for an accent cushion. The teal throw blanket was bought off eBay. It's a perfect match to the one from the Room for Two set. We hope you found this DIY helpful. If you'd like to keep crafting, check out our tutorial for the matching day and night stand. We'd appreciate it if you hit that like button and turned on the bell so you get notified as soon as a new video drops. See you soon for more miniature crafting fun!